from KETK, you're watching East Texas Live. Welcome back to East Texas Live on KETK. Joining us now are Elisha and Julie from Therapet. Oh, and I might add Lambo, who's down here enjoying the cool floor. Welcome, ladies. Thanks for coming by. Thanks, Thanks for, for having, having us. us. What is Therapet, and is it a national organization? Therapet is a local nonprofit. We're a 501c3. We are not national. So um, all of the work that we do here is just for East Texas. Uh, we were founded in about 1994. So we're in the 28th year of wow. serving East Texans with our animals. Um, so all of the animals, it's good to know, are the personal pets of our human volunteers. And they train them on their own time and their own dime. So oh, wow. um, it's, it's a real significant uh, commitment. We'll talk yeah, about that. Yeah, I didn't that. realize that. So tell me what exactly is pet assisted therapy you want to talk about sure um, pet assisted therapy or animal assisted therapy is where we take an animal and use them in a goal directed way to help a patient improve their functioning so for example at one of the rehab hospitals here in town they might be working with a patient who's had a stroke and then the animal is used so the patient can brush them and learn how to reuse their arm or we might go to a hospital and cheer people up and give them some motivation to remember to get better and go home to take care of their own pets oh, I love that and tell me where does their pet currently serve? Well, we're contracted with 15 facilities in East oh. Texas. So um, one of the big things a lot of people see us at are the, the local hospitals. So we actually are at UT Health in Tyler on Beckham, North Campus, and then Christus, as well as Encompass, um, a total of eight times every month at those hospitals. Um, it's, it's great work. It's visitation. It, it is wonderful to see a dog go into a patient room. Uh, there's an immediate calming effect. You'll, you'll have patients experience lowering a blood blood pressure, calming of heart rate, um, and a multitude of other effects as well. And then we're at East Texas Crisis Center, we're at Breckenridge Village, and then schools as well. So um, both Shears and Jones campuses are part of TISD, and then Chapel Hill ISD as well. And then we're in talks to go back to Rust State Hospital and Skyview Prison very soon oh, as well. Oh, wow. That's so great. Uh, now, tell me, how, do, how does somebody request therapy services from you? Well, they can go online. Therapet.org is our website. And there's a ton of really interesting information there, so I would encourage you to go there anyway. But then if you go to the Contact tab, you'll see an event, ap or an event application and also a facility application uh, that you can complete. But that said, we have a very long waiting list of facilities that are wanting to be permanently on our calendar and um, along with the 15 that I already mentioned. So um, the reason that that is is that it takes so long to get a dog certified with us anywhere from one to two years on average and that includes obedience training as well. Um, it takes a long time and that said uh, the whole time we're constantly losing animals as well. So they're passing away, um, they're getting older, they're having to retire from health issues. Um, it's, it's really good luck if you get six years out, yeah. of a, out of an animal. So we have to be able to net more animals to be able to serve more facilities and take some of those off of the waiting list. How many animals do you currently have? We have about 70 dogs oh. and I have to mention the three cats and we have an umbrella cockatoo as well. So um, pretty much every single day of the year we're serving at at least one uh, place in East Texas. So That's very busy so volunteers. wonderful. Now I know that you've been recognized by the Sloan Law Firm as an mm -hmm. exceptional organization. What does that mean to you? We are truly honored to be recognized by Sloan Law Firm. Um, it gives us this opportunity to be here with you and um, our volunteers serve thousands and thousands of hours every single year. Um, just giving back to friends and neighbors in East Texas and so this gives us an opportunity to brag on them and, and tell people about all the hard work they do. Right and I know East Texas Giving Day is coming up. Do you have yes. a big goal for that? We do. Um, I have lofty goals every year. I, I don't want to mention them just because I'll, I like to have a personal competition <laughs> with yeah. myself. But, um, we are very excited about East Texas Giving Day um, and East Texas Communities Foundation for making sure that that takes place every year. It's significant for nonprofits. Right. Yeah. Oh, thanks for coming in today and thanks Absolutely. for bringing Lambeau. Absolutely. Good to see you. Thank you for having us. Thank you, you for having us.